This is United Inside News. Sancho to Saudi. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. Rio Ferdinand has claimed Jaden Sancho could move to Saudi Arabia following his shocking statement on Sunday. Speaking on his Five YouTube channel, he said, There's no way Jaden's putting out a statement like that if he hasn't, in his own eyes, performed well. On his chart, Jaden, I've trained all right, but the manager have a certain standard. There's only one way this ends right now. Well, two ways. There's only one window open, and that's Saudi. Or you're on the bench or not getting in the squad for the rest of the season. Manchester United show glimpse of Team Eric Ten Hag wants them to be. United still have plenty to work on, but there was a glimmer of Eric Ten Hag's philosophy on show at Arsenal. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag will be fully aware of the issues which his team need to rectify. Arsenal's late show at the Emirates was gut-wrenching, particularly after Alejandro Garnacho had a goal ruled out for a tight offside. While disappointed at losing so late on, there was brief evidence of the style United are trying to implement. For much of the first half, the Reds were passive against the Gunners and were forced to play backwards and sideways passes. Gary Neville even quipped on commentary, which way are United attacking? Seconds later, he was eating his words. Out of nowhere, Christian Eriksen did magnificently to intercept a pass and play a defense-splitting ball to find Marcus Rashford, who applied an exceptional finish. It was a transitional move which came straight off the training ground and one which Ten Hag would have been mightily impressed to see pay off at the Emirates. In July, the boss spoke about how he hoped United would improve their transitional play. We want to do it in the United way, Ten Hag told United's official site when asked what message he was sending his players this summer. What is the United way? So what is our identity? And we want to be really successful in that particular style. We really looked into the history of Manchester United, and we really looked also into the qualities of our players. And then you can say, so what do we want to be? That is, we want to be the best transition team in the world. We want to surprise. We want to play dynamic football. We want to play with speed, and we want to play aggressive out of a very good team spirit. So that is united. In that brief passage of play, Ten Hag's team showed exactly what he is looking for. Of course, immediately conceding an equalizer is not part of the plan, while plenty of other questions were raised following the Arsenal defeat. But Ten Hag will hope to see more of the United way after the international break. Manchester United star Jadon Sancho has claimed he's been made a scapegoat following Eric Ten Hag's recent comments. The United boss revealed that Sancho had been left out of the losing team against Arsenal due to his training performances. Meanwhile, the takeover has taken a shock twist, with the Glazers taking it off the market according to reports. The Daily Mail have claimed that the Glazers now want closer to $10 billion to sell up. Elsewhere, Manchester United's fixture list does not get easier after losing to Arsenal, with a clash against Brighton at Old Trafford next. After the Seagulls, the Red Devils will travel to Germany to face Bayern Munich and Harry Kane in the Champions League. Andre Onana has come out of international retirement after being recalled to the Cameroon team. He said, In the world of football, as in life, Decisive moments arise that require crucial choices to be made. In recent months, I have been confronted with trials marked by injustice and manipulation. Yet my unshakable love and attachment to my homeland, Cameroon, remain intact. My desire to represent my country has never waved red since my youth, and this aspiration remains an inseparable part of my identity. Nothing and no one can shake this conviction. I answer my nation's call with unshakable certainty, aware that my return is not only to honor my dream, but also to respond to the expectations and support of Cameroonians who deserve a national team determined to shine. In the face of manipulation, lies, and abuse of power, 
I choose to remain true to my ideals, proudly representing a country that deserves our sincere commitment. Now is the time to unite, to work in harmony for our common good Cameroon. He added that, I would like to salute the government, which is working hard to build a better Cameroon for all. My thoughts are with the people of Cameroon, to whom I offer my infinite thanks for their support and whom I look forward to seeing again. Time, the infallible judge of all things, will eventually enlighten us and reveal the rightness of our actions. My commitment to Cameroon remains unwavering, and I am determined to play my part in seeing it prosper. Fiorentina Chief Joe Baroni has revealed that Sofian Amrabat wanted to play in England ahead of his move to Manchester United. The chief also insisted that the club worked hard to seal a deal with the Red Devils. He said, Amrabat has always wanted to play in England. We worked hard, and in the last few hours we found an agreement. Now let me tell you what other pundits goalkeeper said to Andre Onana after defeat of Manchester United yesterday. Andre Onana has been criticized by former Manchester United goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel. The summer signing failed to keep out Declan Rice's late effort that saw the Red Devils surrender a draw against Arsenal. On the attempted save, Schmeichel said, I've got no words. I'm shocked. It's a terrible way to lose a game. United defended so badly for the corner at the end, Declan Rice had so much time, and the goalkeeper should save it. Again and again. Emmanuel Petit has claimed that Anthony Martial should leave Manchester United. He told bettingsites.co.uk. It's time for Anthony Martial to leave Man United. Monaco are top of the league, and they're scoring goals with good strikers, so I'm not sure about him going there. I don't know what the best club for Martial will be, but I know it's time for him to leave Manchester United. He's been at Manchester United for too long now, and it's very frustrating because he has great qualities, but too many injuries has made it difficult. I'm not sure if he will come back to League One, when you leave for a long time, it's difficult to come back, especially after a spell where he was not good enough. If he was at Manchester United for years and scored loads of goals being one of the best strikers in the Premier League and winning titles, then it would have been good for him to come back to France, but I think he'll look for a different country. Now let's talk about Man United takeover process. Gary Neville has slammed the Glazers for treating Manchester United as a toy and insisted that they will sell the club. He said that, It's just a game for them. They think it's a toy. Of course they're going to sell. They're desperate for money. They can't even compete on financial fair play, FFP, anymore. In additional, United fans fume at penalty decision. Manchester United fans have been left fuming after new footage has emerged of Gabriel Magalhaes' challenge on Rasmus Hoylund during the clash at the Emirates. They are convinced that they should have had a penalty in the 87th minute. The two players fell to the floor following a tussle in the box, with both appearing to wrap their arms around each other. However, United fans believe Hojlund was dragged to the floor while going for the ball.